Hello, my name is SJ Van Sale. I am a portrait and beauty photographer from Cape Town. My journey with photography started when I studied graphic design. And during my studies, I realized that I was more interested in creating images and doing photography than I was in doing graphic design. So that jump started my, my interest and I studied makeup design after that and I incorporated those skills into creating the images that we are now creating today. I tried to copy a lot of different photographers that I was following and I realized that even though I was nailing the technical aspects of the photos, they weren't making me happy and it wasn't feeding my creative soul and spirit. So what happened is I packed away all my studio lights and I went back to natural light and I started learning everything I could learn about natural light and shot like that for a very, very long time. And it was when I was doing this and I stopped looking at other photographers and embracing natural light that my work came alive. That is also about the time that I bought my Fuji and the magic of the colors and the contrast that I got with that camera was, was beautiful. So I would say my style of photography at the moment is portrait based, but it is a timeless look to it. It's not studio heavy, it's very soft, feathered light. I would say the closest thing that I would probably compare it to is the work of Annie Leibovitz, Sue Bryce. Love, love, love. I think the most important thing I've learned on my journey as a photographer is that you're only as good as the team that you work with. And that includes your model, your hairstylist, and your makeup artist. And if you are lucky, a stylist as well. Um, makeup and hair is such an integral part of photography and capturing a subject. So I think the fact that I'm a makeup artist myself and I have a background in that helps me to visualize what I want for my photo shoots. Okay, so we just finished our first look, which was our beautiful and innocent soft look. So now we are moving towards a little bit more edgy, a little bit more vampy kind of look for our second look. So it's that balance between good and evil, which I think will come through quite nicely. I fell in love with Fuji as soon as I laid my hands on one of the cameras about two years ago. Um, and the reason why I love Fuji so much, it's the first time when I shot of a camera where the contrast and the colors um, even in a JPEG format when I opened it blew me away. It was the first time where I didn't have to do a lot of tweaking and it was the closest to what I was seeing in my viewfinder to what it was when I opened it in my computer. It also has a lot of tweaks that I love. It's got a live viewfinder so when you are changing settings you can see what's happening with your image in a live view mode um, which saves you a lot of time. So when you are changing your shutter speed or your ISO, your f-stop, you can see all of that changing in real time on your viewfinder. And also if you are someone like me who cannot see when you manual focus as well as you should and um, there's lovely little tools where they highlight the areas that are being focused on in manual mode um, so you don't have to need like a microscope to see if something isn't focused by turning you know your focal point so I think that makes a massive difference for me. The team that is involved behind Fuji the support that you receive as a photographer from them is amazing and it's the first time in my life that I actually feel like I'm part of a family and that they are there looking out for me as a photographer and actively promoting me and supporting me and teaching me a lot of new things and the knowledge and the experience that I've gained from this has been immeasurable.